Each and every year, there's some big names across the Dakota Classic Modified Tour in the field. This year, we got one of those big names joining us now. It's a high side tickler, Mr. Kyle Strickler, super late model, NASCAR dirt, you name it. Welcome to North Dakota, my friend. What do you think of the uh, North Dakota hospitality here so far? Uh, yeah, so far so good. Um, having a blast is something I've always wanted to do and, and come up here and race for uh, Troy Drallo, uh, G-Man. He's supported me throughout my racing career and, and uh, helped me so much to uh, come up here and hang out with him and, and get to take his uh, new race car out and dent and ding it up for him. Yeah, you had, a, you had a good run going last night and uh, just some hard racing. I got to ask you this, what's the biggest difference when you go from a super late model into a modified? Obviously, that's a whole different game, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it feels like you're going so much slower in these cars and, and you know, everything comes at you so fast in the super late model. And um, it's a lot of fun when the racetrack gets slick up here and, and the track conditions uh, have a lot to do with that. Last night, it, it had some character and got that big cushion in, in one and two and was rough. So. Um, yeah, I just got racing hard with, with Cody Laney there on a, on a restart, and, and um, I know him from back when I ran all, all the IMCA stuff, and just thought I could get in there and thought I could slide across there and, and miss the holes and, and see what happened to him going through the holes. But um, after talking to him, he, you know, with the crate motors, he was trying to keep his momentum up and go through the, go through the rough stuff there and, and uh, couldn't get turned back down the hill and got into the quarter panel and, and um, ripped my brake line off. but. Just hard racing, um, you know, hindsight, I wish we would have uh, not got together like that and been able to get a good finish because I think we would have had a top three for sure. But I uh, ended up with a DNF, but um, we're here to win races and have fun and and um, give G-Man some, some good runs and uh, taking some time off with my with my late model waiting for my motors to get fixed. So this is a perfect way to, to um, you know, stay racing and stay in a race car and come do something I haven't done before. For you, is there is there an added pressure knowing that you come from the big league, quote unquote, if you will, that super late model, and an extra pressure knowing that uh, you're a guy that guys like me look to to be at the front of the field? Yeah, I'd say probably my IMCA um, history or record probably you know speaks for itself, and if we've had so much success and won you know so many big races here before that. Yeah, you don't want to come out and and struggle, you know, and and it's been probably five years since I ran IMCA stuff, so. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably more pressure on me than on anybody else, but uh, putting it on myself. Uh, G-Man just wants me to come up here and race and have fun and, and drink beer and hang out with all my IMCA buddies. So um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, obviously, I'm extremely competitive. And, you know, when I talked to, to Laney about that, too, he's, uh, you know, he knows I race really hard. And, and after the fact, of course, it would have been great to get those points for the, for the tour. But that was the last thing on my mind last night. I wanted to do everything I could do to put myself in position to win races. And. Uh, that's why we do this. We, we do it to put on a show for the fans and win races. So um, we're going to keep on doing that, and, and hopefully we're competitive and up front every week or every day this week. How, how excited are you that Nodak Speedway is no, known for having a bit of a high side that likes to come in, licking your chops a bit to get up there and <laughs> yeah. see what it's like on this 3 mile? Yeah, these tracks, uh, from I've watched the tour a bunch, uh, you know, just uh, on IMCA TV or whatever it was on uh, back then. and. I've uh, never been here, but the tracks have a lot more banking than, a, than it looked like on TV. So um, excited about that. Last night there was definitely a big enough cushion where I could, especially in that heat race, it was, that was exciting to come from ninth to, to the win. So um, this open motor definitely needs some grip. So uh, hopefully there's a top there, and, and that's where you have the most fun. On behalf of all of us North Dakota race fans and people across the country, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I can't thank uh, G-Man enough for giving me this opportunity. He's helped me so much along the way. And this is a brand new uh, CDRK Dillard race car. And, um, you know, Jake's come, come on the road here to help us. And uh, all my guys back home, uh, Charlie and Melanie uh, Donaldson, my wife and kids, everybody watching, my mom, my dad, and and um, um, everybody that helps on, on my program. and and helps me keep racing and keep doing this stuff. So uh, this is what I love doing, driving race cars, and it's awesome to be able to come up here and do some new things and go to all these racetracks. It'll be the first time I go to them, so I'm super excited. From NASCAR truck series to super late models, big late model shows all over the place, to right here in mine at the Playground of Power, it's the high side tickler, Kyle Strickler. Best of luck. Thanks for being here again. Absolutely. Thank you.